So you want to learn how to do this. Well, I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. It's not even that hard. Like, watch. I'm going to do it again and show you that it's not that hard. Watch. See? I'm telling you, bro. It's not that hard. And I'm about to teach you how to do that right now. So let's not waste any more time. And let's get to it. So first, what you actually want to do is ragdoll your opponent. Because if you don't, it's just going to do this. See? All the way over there. And I can't side dash all the way over there, right? Right. So all you got to do is ragdoll them first. And we're going to do that by down slapping them or uppercutting them or whatever you want one what you want to do. All you got to do is just ragdoll them. Watch. Okay, I'm going to ragdoll them by down slapping them, right? Hunter's grasp. Hold M1 and then side dash into them. That's all you got to do, chat. Hold M1 while the hunter's grasp animation is going on and then side dash into them. Watch. Okay. I'm going to ragdoll them again. And then hunter's grasp and hold M1. That's what it does. If you hold M1, the fling shortens into side dash distance. You feel me? If you don't hold M1, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to fling them normally. Watch. See? You're going to need to hold M1 after Hunter's Grasp, right? And then side dash into them. Watch. That was not supposed to ragdoll them. Right? Hold M1. Boom. Right? Side dash into them. Continue. Continue your combo or whatever. That's all you gotta do. It's very easy. Now, here's a little tip, right? To make that side dash easier to hit. Because if you don't hit that side dash, you're either gonna get uh, countered or blocked on, right? It's very important that you hit those M1s after you fling them, right? So, what the? Little tip to make you hit that side dash is have your camera over you. Don't do this. Don't do this. No one will ever do this. Most people will do this, right? With their camera. Do this, actually, right? I do this all the time and it helps me, uh, with my side dashes it helps me know the distance between me and, um, and my opponent as if, if i'm doing this right i go here right and it looks like i'm far i'm close enough to hit them but it's actually not because if i look up damn that's an entire talk but if i look up i exact i know exactly how close and how far i am to them right so keep your camera over you right this is just in general a tip for better side dashes right but for this video watch oh my fault i forgot there we go yeah, see, right? How I don't know how I missed those, man. I just, I just probably suck. You get my point. Have your camera over you, right? That's it, fam. Let's do that again. Boom. That's about it. That's about it. Don't do this. Don't do this. It's, it's a little hard to hit your side dashes this way. Get comfortable doing this, cause it's just way better. Look at the view, bro. Let's do a little recap, right? Ragdoll them first, right? And then. M, uh, Hunter's Grasp, hold them one, side dash into them, and finish your combo, right? Uh, I just missed those because I suck, but you probably don't, so, you know, hit them, bro, hit them. And that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, then like it, and consider subscribing, you know? Yeah, that's about it. Bye-bye.